Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Colonial Impact Wrestling. My name is The Colonist. Today, we have Jimmy Corderas one-on-one with Chrono. Let's get this going. Now, for those of you just joining us for the first time, shut this video off, go way back and start at the beginning and catch up, or at least watch the pay-per-view massacre because you missed a hell of a lot going up to this preview, but if you are joining us for the first time and don't feel like watching hours of tele hours of my videos, welcome! It's good to have you with us. Now, Jimmy Corderas, as we heard yesterday, wanted this match against Chrono because he was all stuck up that nobody believed him about the NWO going to run rampant in CIW, which I would never allow, first of all. And, I mean, we saw what I was enacting on Shades of Black for their NWO-esque tactics. So, they better, he better be very careful what he says, because Corderas, I'm going to tell you right now, NWO ain't coming in here. I'll tell you that straight up. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm barely letting Shades of Black stay here after what happened. Anyway, here you are, Jimmy Corderas, one-on-one -on -one with Chrono. Here comes Mr. Corderas. Jimmy Corderas has had a winning record before. Jimmy Corderas, the very first Colonial Impact Wrestling House Show Champion, I shit you not. Go on the Facebook page, go find the first, go find their match. I, you would, I'm not kidding. He actually was the very first champion who lost to the Penguin, who then lost to Chrono. And in subsequent rematch clauses... Jimmy Corderas has lost repeatedly, in fact, has never beaten Chrono in singles competition. So, that means that this is going to be a match also a little bit for redemption for Corderas. You know, Jimmy wants that win over Chrono. I think that's really half the reason why Cro he chose Chrono of anyone to challenge, is that he wants some payback. And I'll get into that payback in a second, but this is CIW. We're watching CIW. This is what's important. Here comes... Chrono. Chrono, the tornado slapper. Chrono, also a former heavyweight champion, not in this CIW, in the house show CIW, which I have not done since because we've had the actual show, so we don't need to do house shows. Chrono, former champion, almost made it, made it a ways in the XYZ Championship, ended up losing to Frozone in the, uh, I think it was the quarterfinals he actually lost in, instead of the semifinals. Uh, Chrono was my pick to win it all, and I ended up coming in last in the uh, tournament, in the prediction tournament. By the way, uh, shout out to, I believe it was Mr. Anderson, who won the XYZ bracket. You will receive nothing but credibility that you won. And the winner of the tag team tournament bracket actually ended up being yours truly. Because I knew that Team Mischief, I, I had a feeling they were going to win. I did not expect them to squash Symbiote Spider-Man, and particularly Aquaman. And that was so satisfying to see Aquaman's stupid fucking aquatic face beaten in by two guys who yell and like money. So... You know, go figure. But here we go. One-on-one -on -one contest between Chrono and Jimmy Corderas. And these two have a bit of a rivalry going on. Referee Kevin James assigned to this contest. Here we go. And we are actually in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania tonight. In the console center. And Chrono leaving the ring. Just running away. Does not want to fight Corderas at all. It's just like, why the hell do you choose this match? I don't want to wrestle you. Maybe Corderas smells. Maybe he didn't take a shower this morning. But... I mean, kind of irrelevant. He's going to have to take a shower after this match anyway, unless he's just a pig and drives home in his wet, sweaty body. Which is more of a disturbing image than one would think. But, anyway. Not going to... Not going to... Not going to linger on the image. Nice vertical suplex there by Chrono, who I don't really think even does want to wrestle this match. But then again, it gives him points if he does win. Low blow by Corderas. Typical NWO move. Corderas, I'm surprised Corderas hasn't linked up with Shades of Black. 
But maybe because he's part of the NWO, he's NWO for life. So he's not going to go uh, ally himself with other factions, even though they do very similar things. Scoop slam by Mr. Corderas, former referee, now competitor for Colonial Impact Wrestling. And uh, by the way, I have to say I'm very appreciative of all of the comments that you have you left on the uh, on my on the Facebook page about what you thought about Massacre. That was uh, very thoughtful of you. And I thank you guys for the high ratings, and I also thank uh, Mr. Anderson as well for ranking Massacre as one of the top ten internet pay-per-views, actually breaking the top ten at number ten. Uh, so we've already gotten some acclaim, our little ECW here, CIW. I can't wait to see what TAW comes up with. And uh, it's a nice uh, club to the shoulder by Mr. Corderas. And a lot of counters in this match. Neither man's able to get a distinct advantage. Looks like a backbreaker by Krona. And when T-A-W, or T-A-W, excuse me, uh, when T-A-W, another low blow, when T-A-W comes up with their pay-per-view, I'm sure it's going to destroy, just kick absolute ass. I haven't been able to watch, however, uh, the Magnation's recent pay-per-view that happened yesterday. Uh, Sonic Boom 2, I believe it was. Here comes the boom, or whatever you called it. Uh... I wasn't able to watch that because I have another time. I mean, I was editing the Massacre pay-per-view, and that took forever. I've never seen a video upload. It took 24... It took 13 hours for it to... Oh! And there's the three-count stunner, and Jimmy Corderas has taken advantage in this match. Has been beating the hell out of Chrono. Chrono's been fighting back as much as he can, but this has really been all Corderas here in the early goings of this match. Now right hands... Closed fist punches in the corner to Chrono's dome. And if he's busted open, how are you going to know? I mean, his hair is red. Bright, bright red. But, and Cordero is unrelenting. Just shot after shot after shot. And, and, oh, Lord. And he actually did it until he was thoroughly exhausted. And now just a kick to the back by Chrono. Did not appreciate those punches. Chrono is a slapper of tornadoes. He does not need to be punched in his face because he slaps tornadoes. I actually think Chrono slaps more tornadoes than Matt Hardy does. Backbreaker again. Corderas' back can't take much more punishment. But you know, I gotta give credit to Corderas only because anytime he ever took a bump in the past, he was out for week, like out for the whole rest of the match. Here, he takes a bump, he's right back up. His endurance has improved tenfold when it comes to matches. So it's better than whenever he was a referee. This is a much better persona for him, I feel. And now taking him up to the rope. And now just, oh, groin attack. Take a drink. Or scoop of ice cream. Shove a handful of Sour Patch Kids down your throat. And then enjoy while your mouth burns a fiery, painful, delicious death. But that's okay. Because Sour Patch Kids are fucking amazing. Jimmy Cordero is worn out again. And so is, I'm, I'm eating Tower Patch, actually, right now. And now, a rear naked choke by Chrono. Will Jimmy Corderas tap out? And Corderas, I don't think, has had enough damage inflicted upon him just yet for anything to happen. And now a thumb to the eye. Oh, a spear! Impressive spear by Corderas. Corderas has been playing a hardball game. Not dicking around, as we like to say. Covered by Corderas. One, two. No. Oh. Kick out at two by Chrono. And I don't think a spear and a couple punches. We're gonna, And now the referee, arguing with the referee. Drop kick right as he was doing something. Oh, and a nice back suplex. Cover one, two, and no. Corderas kicks out at two after that suplex into a pin. A full Nelson suplex. And that was very well executed by Chrono. And now Corderas has got uh, Chrono in a compromising position. And now it looks like it's going to be another arm bar. Has been working on that arm. He used the arm bar a little earlier in the match. And maybe that's what Chrono's deal is. He's trying to weaken the arms, but Chrono's stomach has got to be hurting him. Oh, God! What a close line by Jimmy Corderas, who came here to fight. I have to say, flying elbow knocks Corderas down. But Jimmy, er, but Chrono making a bit of a comeback here. Is not letting Corderas win this sitting down. 
And I have to admit, it's admirable. This is an admirable effort by both of these men, who I would say probably have a, f a fairly significant rivalry at this point. I'm sure we'll see them again at some point, wrestle each other, maybe in a triple threat match, maybe in a tag match, you know, who knows. And a backdrop, take uh, a backdrop there is uh, take a drink or shove another mouthful of Sour Patch down your throat, causing a delicious choke on your deliciousness, as I would. And now, using that choke again, using another headlock, a side headlock there, will Chrono tap out? I my, I would suggest no, because I don't think we've seen a submission victory just yet. But there is a submission match in the works. It's coming. I'm not going to say when, but in the, oh, and a drop kick to the knee drops down Corderas, and Chrono went for a drop kick, instead gets a three count stunner for his trouble. And that could do it right there. Chrono dr being dragged to the center of the ring by Corderas, the cover of the inside leg, hook of the leg, one, two, three. And Corderas picks up his very first victory over Chrono. It took months and months and months. But Jimmy Corderas perseveres and finally gets the job done. And I have to say, I'm impressed. Maybe Corderas is saying, is, maybe people are going to pay attention to him now. I know I'm not. But maybe some people will. So, a good win by Jimmy Corderas. And I totally forgot your bad pun of the day. Oh, son of a bitch. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I got a good one. I got, well, I got a good bad one. Why did the golfer have to go to the shoe store? Because he had a hole in one. <laughs> okay, so that's going to do it for this edition. My name is the colonist. Good win by Jimmy Corderas. Chrono, this may hurt his ego. But Jimmy Corderas with a great win. And we'll see you next time, everybody. Take care.